Hey everyone, it is Andrew here for Apple Insider. AirPlay 2 is inching closer and closer to release with the launch of iOS 11.4 and TVS 11.4 currently in beta. AirPlay 2 is the next generation of Apple's wireless streaming technology, has better thoroughput, better audio quality, and the biggest thing, it allows you to use multi-room audio, sending audio to multiple speakers at the same time. It also brings AirPlay 2 devices into HomeKit and the Home app, hopefully for further automation. Currently, the only devices that support AirPlay 2, because we're so early, are going to be the Apple TVs. So you have to have TVS 11.4 installed. Once you do, it'll walk you through the process of adding your Apple TV to your home. And you can change the setting at any time by going into Settings, then AirPlay, then going down to Room. You can see in the bottom left-hand corner, through AirPlay now, you can actually put it into multiple rooms in your home at the same time. You can select your room. All this is pulling from the home app on your phone or your iPad, any rooms that you have set up or any new suggestions that the Apple TV can kind of give to you or you can just create your new room and name it whatever you'd like. From your Apple TV, you can then throw the audio to any AirPlay 2 speaker and multiple of them at the same time. So one in your kitchen, living room, bedroom, upstairs, whatever it may be. On the iOS side of things, once you have an AirPlay 2 device, be it an Apple TV or a compatible speaker, you can see them right inside of AirPlay. The difference is, is the AirPlay 2 devices will have this little circle and a check mark option, whereas the non-AirPlay 2 devices, like my Dining Room HomePod and my Libertone Zip, those currently don't support AirPlay 2, so they don't have that option. I can only choose one of those to play audio to, but my Living Room Apple TV and my Bedroom Apple TV both work with AirPlay 2 and I can tap on that little circle, it'll put a check mark there. Then I can play audio from my phone, whatever it may be, Apple Music, something else, I can play to all of those at the same time and I can control their volumes individually. It is really, really handy. You're also going to notice a couple other changes inside of Control Center or these AirPlay 2 preferences when you add or cast to those AirPlay 2 speakers. Notice the individual controls will disappear down from the bottom of your list. Both the bedroom Apple TV and the living room Apple TV disappear because I can no longer control what they're playing individually because I'm playing audio from my phone. Just a really nice touch to hopefully simplify things because the audio workings here in Control Center have historically been a bit confusing. So of course you can access it here from Control Center, but you can access it really from any audio app, any audio app that supports AirPlay at least. So if I jump into the Apple Music application, of course there's the AirPlay button down at the bottom, Again, you can just cast to any of those AirPlay 2 speakers. If I try to send any of the non-AirPlay 2 speakers, just a standard AirPlay speaker, it'll kick me off any of the AirPlay 2 speakers that I was currently casting to. So of course it works in Apple's music application, but again, it works in any others as well, like Audible. Say you're listening to an audiobook, you can go into AirPlay, throw it to all the speakers in your phone, home, and you can walk around your house listening to your audiobook in any room that has an AirPlay speaker. You can see here, sometimes it takes a couple seconds to join that second speaker, and we're just really early in the beta phase. Obviously we saw this in iOS 11.3 for a little bit before it was removed. It was really buggy back then, but honestly, it is actually quite stable here. I've been using for the past day and it, it works really really well with those Apple TVs. I really can't wait for it to add more support for other devices like the HomePod and third-party speakers. Now as I mentioned that those Apple TVs will now show or any AirPlay 2 device will show in the Home app. You chose the room so if we jump into living room you can see there's my Apple TV. If we go into the dining room you can see my HomePod which is not an AirPlay 2 speaker yet but of course it's the only way to manage the HomePod so it does show in the Home app. And then tapping that again, we can go check out the bedroom where my last Apple TV is, again, updated to AirPlay 2. Right now, there is basic support for play and pause inside of the Home app. Just tapping on the icon will play or pause depending on what's currently happening on your Apple TV. Long pressing and then pressing on details will give you the option to edit a few things like the name or changing the room of your Apple TV. Of course, this will be reflected inside of the settings on the Apple TV if you happen to change something here. And then, of course, you can include this in favorites or not, which will just show up on kind of your home screen, the first page there of the home app. Now, there is one pretty big limitation, at least right now. There's no automations that you can do with an AirPlay 2 speaker. Eventually, we're expecting Apple to add support for any automation. So when you get home, you can have your welcome home mix start to play. When you wake up in the morning, you can have an alarm set on an AirPlay 2 speaker like the HomePod and have a certain playlist start to play. Or you can have your morning scene, you can have your evening scene, party mix, whatever it is tied to a scene. But right now, that's simply not possible. One kind of cool thing is you can actually use Siri with AirPlay 2. So I can ask Siri to play the killers in the living room and the bedroom, and she can do that. 
well, at least she will be able to do that because right now it doesn't work. Now she just starts to play some audio on my iPhone and doesn't do anything with the speakers, but that should be remedied as we get closer to the launch of AirPlay 2, hopefully in the next month or so. AirPlay 2 will also be bringing stereo pairing back to the HomePod. It does require audio as 11.4, currently that's just not available, but once that is available, it'll work with the HomePod, and third-party speakers can take advantage of this as well, like the Libertone Zip, which will be updated shortly after launch to work as an AirPlay 2 speaker. I hope this gives you a better understanding of AirPlay 2 as we get closer to the launch. If you have any questions, let us know down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.